Hi everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Liz again, and today I have another video for you, and it's all about some brand new lipsticks by Clinique. But real quick, before we get started, I just want to say, do you ever have one of those days where like, your eyes are just watering all crazy and for no good reason, like it's not crazy windy, there's nothing irritating them, they're just randomly watering? Well, that's what's happening to me today, um, and especially in my right eye, or excuse me, my left eye, is just randomly watering. Like, I won't even feel it coming. All of a sudden, a tear will just, like, drop out of my eye, and it sucks. It's interfering with my makeup situation, and it's a bummer, but such is life. And then the second thing is... Since I'm doing a, a lipstick video, because I'm a total dork, I wore my lipstick shirt. You guys see it? Isn't it cute? Yes, I'm a total idiot. Okay, and then the third thing is that if the quality of this video sucks, I'm sorry. I gotta keep going with it because I have refilmed this like three times now, and it takes up a lot of my time, so... Uh, yeah, I'm working on getting an actual real camera instead of a webcam, so that will be happening soon, in which case the uh, quality of my videos will go up by a large degree. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so I am so excited to talk to you guys about these things. A, because I've had a shit ton of coffee, and B, because they are amazing, beautiful, perfect lipsticks, and I just can't wait to tell you all about them. Okay, so what I am talking about are the brand new Lip Pop uh, Clinique lipsticks, and this is what the box looks like. I got mine at Sephora. They cost $18, and for some weird reason, of course I find this out now, at Nordstrom they're $16.20. So, you know, it's not a huge savings, but if you were to get uh, you know, more than one, a few of them, um, you'd end up saving a few bucks. So just to let you know, at Nordstrom, they are a little, slightly cheaper. And they are $18 on the Clinique site. And actually, before I get all into this, I'm going to um, read you just a few little uh, highlights that I wrote down about these lipsticks. Okay, so they already contain a smoothing primer. Uh, they glide on effortlessly. Uh, they have a modern velvet finish and they are supposed to keep lips moisturized for up to eight hours. They're totally fragrance free and they come in 16 colors. Okay, so, so far I would say all of those claims are absolutely true and then some. These lipsticks are phenomenal. Okay, so now I got mine in three colors. I got mine in Poppy Pop, Punch Pop, and Cherry Pop. Um, and again, I'm just going to show you real quick. This is the little box they come in. Now, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, these things, oh my god, I could just freak out. Okay, so the one I'm wearing on my lips is Cherry Pop, and this is what they look like, and they are so stinking good looking and cute and adorable. Just the packaging alone just kills me. They're really little um, and just feel really good in your hand, and they're just gorgeous. And the color you see on the packaging is exactly the color of the lipstick. It's not even a hair different. It is the exact color of the lipstick, so that's always good. Okay, so that is the packaging, which I personally just adore to death. Okay, when you open it up, it looks like so. And that's a pretty good amount of excellent lipstick for $18. Okay, so again, this is called Cherry Pop, and it is what I have on my lips. And it is this color right there. That is Cherry Pop. And I would say it is... It's a bright red, but it's a bright pinky red. It's not, doesn't have any orange in it. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's a bright red, but a bright pinky red. Very pink and very adorable and aptly named at Cherry Pop. Okay, so then the next one I have is called Poppy Pop. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I would say it's like a bright tangerine color. That's what that looks like. When I first got it, I thought it was like, um, 
more of a red color, but once I played with it and swatched it a bunch of times, this is definitely a gorgeous, gorgeous tangerine color. So that is that. I will show you the swatch, um, the middle swatch right there. That is um, Poppy Pop. Oh, so pretty, you guys. So pretty. And then the next one is, I almost want to say my favorite, but it's hard to say that because I love them all so much. But this one is called Punch Pop, and it's a sort of, I don't know, dark pink. Dark, dark, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. A dark shade of pink. See that? I don't want to say fuchsia. Fuchsia is bright. This, this has a depth to it. Oh, so pretty. That is what that looks like. Absolutely adorable, perfect, gorgeousness. And I will show you the swatch. Um, there is the swatch of Punch Pop. So again, we have Cherry Pop, uh, Poppy Pop, and Punch Pop. Whoops. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what I want to say about these lipsticks is that all the claims, again, are totally dead on. Um, they glide on beautifully. And it's one of those lipsticks that more and more companies are coming out with where um, it's very, very saturated with color, uh, but goes on like a balm. It's just, it's amazing. It really is weightless. And they really are, you know, as you can see, saturated with pigment. They're just beautiful lipsticks. Um, as far as keeping your lips moisturized for up to eight hours, I can't really speak to that whole thing yet. Um, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do because so far they're just, the performance is excellent. Now I did drink a cup of coffee before this wearing it to kind of test out the transfer situation and it did transfer quite a bit onto my coffee cup. Um, but I still, it, it wasn't like all I had left was a stain. I still had a full mouth of lipstick on. It was maybe slightly lighter than when I had applied it fresh, but all I did was reapply it and freshen it up, and it looked beautiful once again. Um, I don't know if they stay in at your lips yet. I haven't uh, worn them that long, so um, I don't know about that. Either way, I'm okay with the lip staining thing. If they don't, that's okay too. I don't know. But every other aspect of these is beautiful and wonderful and normally for a high end you know higher end lipstick you're going to pay anywhere from 20 22 up to 30 dollars um and i would say you know $18 for one of these is a great price and i realize $18 is still expensive for a stupid lipstick but having you know played with these a little bit I want like a bunch more of them. I'm, I will happily pay $18 per lipstick for these because they're just awesome and I cannot get enough of them. I don't know if you can tell how small these are, but they're just, they're these sort of like diminutive little lipsticks and they're just so cute and just feel so good and they work really well and I'm totally in love. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you try at least one. I know Sephora immediately was sold out of a lot of the colors. Um, they'll probably bring them back. On the Clinique site, all the colors were in stock. Um, you can check Nordstrom. Again, they are um, you know, a couple dollars cheaper at Nordstrom, so that's an option. But yeah, that is my review of my new excellent Clinique Lip Pop lipsticks. And these came out as part of their spring situation and they're meant to go, I think, with like the new colors of blushes. And then just something really funny is that all growing up as a little girl, my mother used Clinique and she used to always pile onto me and my sister. Clinique hella gives away free gifts, you know, with, with purchase. Um, and they would give her like a whole makeup bag full of stuff. And she used to just pile that onto me and my sister. And I used to think the stuff was like so ugly and like the lotion, it was unscented and just, I didn't really like it when I was little. And, you know, she's to this day, she still is, you know, a loyal all she uses is Clinique because because it's fragrance free and she can't deal with scents and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so all my life I have, 
you know, associated Clinique with my mother. Like, Clinique equaled kind of like, you know, grown-up adult stuff. And so I just think it's really funny that now, as a grown woman myself, I am ordering some Clinique products because I never thought I'd buy anything from Clinique because A, it was always given to me in droves, and B, it always equaled this sort of like older lady, you know, kind of company. And so, yeah, it's just funny um, to be buying Clinique products. And with that said, I think I really think that they're trying to sort of step up their game and appeal to a younger crowd. And I would say they're hitting the nail on the head because between the, the, the blushes and these lipsticks, people are loving it. Okay. So that's all I want to say. Um, I hope this was interesting and or helpful to anybody. And I would love, love, love it if you would please comment and subscribe. I love when you talk to me, you guys. Um, I answer every comment that I can. Um, and, you know, no, I answer every comment, actually. And I've actually become friends with a couple people on here, and I just love it. So, yeah, I would highly encourage you to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. I make all kinds of videos all the time, and I thank you so much for your time and for watching my video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, YouTube!